Okay, we'll start. Um, mm. Okay, uh, good evening, what's Dr. What's your Anna? comments about my? Uh... Your com uh, the what what I saw was like uh, you were trying to, because I was trying not to talk too much as I said, mm. so you have to keep on asking me because sometimes I, I'm not trying to like you know um, give you many details like um, I just said I have mm. some symptoms I'm not saying like that but you that's good that you tried when did you have it like um, like when did you last see like like how how did you find out is there anything you have because uh maybe did you read the first part the, in my uh, role player's card or you just asked me no just i uh, read my card oh okay because um, um because in my card it's written to uh like you know those things and i didn't mention so you have to keep on asking me uh, to make sure that uh, but i'm not sure because you said can i examine you because it's not um here um it hasn't explained whether you have to examine me or not it's more like asking you asking me like yes but but uh, to make diagnosis i i think uh, with history only we can't make uh, proper diagnosis so uh, yeah that's why he's asking um i think from just say i think from what you have told me i can and i feel it's benign you you forgot to use that word benign because if you say mm. benign, then I'll ask you, what is benign, doctor? I don't know what is benign. Mm. Like, you know, I can ask you, but you didn't mention that. So if it's mm. ca not cancerous, then it is benign. So so you have to give me like, you know, a uh, place where I can ask you question and you can like answer me further. Like, like for example, I'll, uh, in my task, it said explain the reason for your concern and find, uh, finding the lessons and your fear of possibility of cancer. So that's my, I said, doctor, I, I feel I'm just worried that I have this, uh, like something at my back and lesions, and I'm afraid that it may be a cancer because of the family history. So you, <laughs> you, that's your, your job is, your is explain the diagnosis, most likely birthmark, mold, et cetera, and reassure the patient. That's your task. So in order to know that you have to ask, uh, so is, how, has it grown? Has it been growing? And, and you ask me, no doctor. So, um, has it been bleeding or itching? No, doctor. So, um, do you, is it like anything else? Like, um, how long it has been present? I'm not sure, doctor. So, I think what we know is like uh, most likely it's um, uh, benign uh, because um, you didn't. You said that it's not itching, it's not bleeding. But why are you worried? Uh, because uh, my um, because my family history has a um, cancer, skin cancer. Oh, but for that you do not need to worry because. From what I think that um, most likely it may be a birthmark or mole, but what we can do is uh, we can use um, under uh, local anesthesia, we can excise it and give it for examination. And I say, what is it doctor? So that means you'll do me up or you'll give me operation. Will I die? Do I have to go to hospital? And say, you just listen when I'm get anxious and you say, no, 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 you don't have to worry that much. We'll take one at a time. That was correct. You said, we'll take one at a time. Don't worry. First, what we'll do is like, we'll just take um, part of it. We'll try to excise it, means take a portion of it or whole portion if it's small. Then we'll give it to the uh, microscope, uh, we'll give to the pathology lab and we'll check it whether it's cancerous or not. Is that okay? Okay. But um, I don't like to go to hospital. I, what if I die and you try to, no, no. If um, if the lesion is malignant or if it's cancerous, then we will refer you to surgeon and then we'll give you medicine. So you go step by step, like okay. um, line by line. Don't jump, yes. just one line by line. That's why it will be smooth. If Because I'm also going line by line, that's my task. So you have to go line by line. I mean to say, make sure you finish everything and in the end summarize. So I hope you understand that uh, so far, I think it's not uh, cancerous, it's just a benign. And we'll give you it for examination. After that, uh, the, after the lab report, we will be able to tell you if it's malignant. And if it is, then we'll give you uh, refer you to surgeon. And then we will give you another adjuvant therapy, and it will depend on the appearance. And but so far, looking at it, I don't think so. We need um, like immediate admission like that. Even though, because 
For example, if you say like, can I, uh, can I examine you? I'm not sure mm. how we'll be saying, yes, you can examine, but <laughs> mm. I don't know if it's like, it sounds very odd, but if you mm. feel like, I, I, I think you can say it, but try to make it short. Okay. okay. Because we're uh, just role playing. Is it, uh, is, is uh, benign uh, a layman language? Benign or malignant? It, it, uh, or we can use a, another word. Yeah, be, uh, yeah, it is. Um, it's a layman language as well, but not everyone knows it. That's the problem. So, like for uh, us, for medicine. What other word we can uh, use? Not cancerous, non-cancerous. Hmm. It's not very serious, or not hmm. harmful. Not hmm. very serious or non-cancerous is okay. I think they understand non-cancerous. Hmm. What about chemotherapy or radiotherapy? I would say as it, or I can use another word. Mm. Chemotherapy means like we give you medicine and radiation, and mm. use we use give you radiation for your treatment. Use the laser mm. uh, ray. What do you? Oh uh, yeah, laser treat. You know, radiation isn't that radiation therapy? So just simple mm. word. Okay. If you have that, but don't go in detail. Just a short, like just to you're trying to explain. And to show that in English that you know another word. That's what you're trying to show. Okay, let's do it once again. Okay. Same thing. We can go at once. Uh, but make sure you go line by line. Make sure don't forget what you have to say. Because I'm also going. And if I stop somewhere, you have to make sure. If I say, oh, I'm afraid, doctor. I don't want to go to hospital. You'll say, no, you don't have to worry. Because what we will do is first examine you. Like that you try to convince me. But make sure you complete every all the lines in your task. Okay. Okay, let's do it, Dr. Ahmed. Okay. Uh, good evening. I'm Dr. Ahmed Ali, uh, the attending physician for the clinic uh, today. Uh, may I confirm your name, please? Uh, good evening, Dr. Ahmed. I'm Asha Rana. Hello, Asha. Uh, how can I address you? Uh, you can call me Asha. Okay, Asha. Uh, how can I help you today? Well, Dr. Ahmed, what happened is that I saw a small lesions. I, actually, it's not me. My husband noticed that there is a small lesions at the back, the lower back, part of my back. And I'm just worried because um, I feel that it, uh, it may be a cancer because my, I have a family history of having ca skin cancer. So I'm just worried. Uh, so can you check if it's um, cancer? Uh, like, I, I'm just worried. What if it's a skin cancer? Oh, I am really sorry to hear this, uh, but uh, this is uh, very early to say cancer about something. Uh, let me uh, check uh, the history of it. Uh, mm -hmm. When did you first uh, notice it? I don't know, doctor. Uh, I think it's um, because I'm, I'm, I don't know, because it's my husband that noticed it. So I, I don't have any idea how long it has been there. Okay. Does it grow in size? No, I have no idea as well. Is there any change in color or bleeding or itching in it? No, no, nothing that I know of. It doesn't itch at all. And no bleeding also. Okay. Uh, from uh, the information you uh, told me, I can reassure you this is not a uh, cancerous lesion. Most, mostly it is a benign lesion. Uh, most, most likely it is a, a mole or, or birthmark. But, but doctor, I have a... So far? I, Yes, I understand. But doctor, I have a family history of uh, skin cancer. What? So, so you sh you said that it's a benign, not cancer. So does that mean what will I do now? Do I have to go to hospital to remove it, or do I have to like you know will I get sick after that? Do I have to take medicine? Can you can you help me? I I'm so worried. I appreciate your apprehension. Uh, I can reassure you uh, this is not cancerous and we will uh, confirm this by uh, removing it and examining it under microscope to see the nature of cells. This will be under local numbing agent. Is it clear for you? Yes. What do you mean by excision? What, what, what are you going to do with that? You mean you're going to take cut part of that uh, lesions or what is it? Can you explain to me, doctor? I'm worried. 
don't worry is this uh, is a simple procedure uh, you will uh, we can do it in uh, the surgery and you can go home after it with local numbing agent uh, and you will have the result in uh, few days i will give you an appointment to review the, the results to uh, reassure you and confirm the diagnosis of it is it clear for you asha Yes, yes, doctor. But what if it's like, what if it's cancerous? What will I do then? Uh, initially, I hope it uh, will be in, uh, not cancerous. But if so, uh, we will refer you to uh, a specialized surgeon in this. Uh, he will do uh, a larger excision and you may need an adjuvant therapy by giving you some chemical substance or uh, some radiations. Uh, but I hope we uh, will not need all of that. Uh, am I clear so far, Asha? Yeah, but why do you think that we don't? I won't be able to. I won't. I don't need this chemical and radiotherapy. Because we uh, we are dealing uh, with a lot of cases like this, and uh, from my experience uh, and uh, from what you told me. Mm -hmm. uh, I can assure you this is not cancerous and benign lesion. Mm -hmm. And with the, uh, with the examination under microscope, we will confirm this. Don't worry, uh, you are in a good hand. Okay, thank you very much, doctor, if you say so. Thank you, Asha. Uh, don't hesitate. Uh, if you have any other further uh, questions, contact me, please. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, Dr. Emma, it's good, but I was looking, I was hoping that you were, you would read the last sentence. There's no need, uh, I told you, there's no need for urgent admission. So don't worry. And because it's not um, like, you know, it's not a big procedure. So I, I just, I think I've noticed that you all get jumbled up in the middle. So I don't, I, I'm trying to help you to understand that you have to go slowly and uh, go line by line because I was trying to say, what if uh, what if I need major operation? What I, what if I need chemo chemotherapy? And I said, oh, no, no, you, I, I don't think so. You need to get worried because I told you on your clinic, and I said, how can you be sure? And I said because of your clinical appearance of what of the lesions. So I don't think so. There is an urgent admission, and and it doesn't need a big procedure immediately. So we have to wait for your result, and then we will come to the conclusion or we will come to the decision whether you have to go to uh, undergo bigger operation or not. Is that all right? So like that, because they want to, they want to know if you can twist and turn the English, you know, not jumbled yeah. up. Mm -hmm. If you jumble up, then I, I make sure you make uh, it very uh, clear to me, but not jumbled up. If you jumbled up, uh, because you already said the adjuvant therapy, er, everything, and after you completed it, you are going down. Don't go up again, because you'll be mm. mixed up again. So I'm trying mm. to bring, like, you know, telling you line by line, like histopathic. Okay, how about you become the ex uh, examiner and I become the, is that a doctor? So we can, I can tell you a little bit. You want to, to change? Hmm? Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, child the rule. So I can explain to you a little bit. Because I'm, I'm, I'm just going task, uh, because I was following, because you were going here, here, I understand. And in the middle, you forgot the base on the clinical appearance and you started saying your own words. That's good. But once you go out, then I, I, I've seen that it goes very jumbled up. So I don't want you to get jumbled up. So I just want to show you that I'm following these, the, the task in my own word. Okay. Okay. Uh, good, good evening. Good evening. I'm Dr. Uh, Asharana and you can call me, uh, oh, sorry. Good evening, Dr. Um, good evening. I'm Dr. Asharana. I'm the attending physician. Uh, may I have your name and date of birth, please? Uh, uh, hello, doctor. Uh, I am uh, Ahmed Ali. Uh, uh, my date of birth is first uh, of August, uh, eighty-seven. Okay. Um, how may I address you? You can call me uh, Ahmed. Oh, okay. 
uh, Mr. Ahmed, and uh, what brought you here today? How can I help you? Well, I have uh, a lesion in my back uh, uh, that I'm afraid it is uh, cancer. Could you hit me with this? Oh, okay. Uh, so, uh, yes, I, I don't think so. We can say it's a cancer at first. So, but before that, I need to ask you a few questions. Is that all right with you? Okay. Oh, uh, so I want to know, when did you uh, first notice this lesion? Uh, it is long time ago, but actually I don't, uh, I can't remember uh, when it started. Okay, so how about, uh, is, has it been growing or in size? Have you noticed that? Uh, no, uh, same size. Okay, so uh, how about any other symptoms? Like, do you feel itchy or is there any bleeding? No, there is no itching or bleeding, but I'm afraid because uh, my dad uh, died of cancer. So I'm really scared about this. Oh, okay. I understand your concern, but from what you've told me and what from uh, seeing it, what I've come to conclusion so far is most likely just a, a birthmark or mole, which is not uh, cancerous or what we call in our term benign. So uh, I can so far tell, assure you that it's not cancerous as you have assumed. So you do not need to worry. Is that all right? Okay, doctor, are you sure about this? I'm very scared. What will I do uh, if it is benign? We will keep okay. it like this or uh, what will we do next? So what do we do? I understand since you have a family history, you have um, reason to be concerned. But uh, what I can assure you is that when we say benign, that means it's not cancerous. But in order to know further, we have to take a part of it, what we call an, an excisional biopsy. It's a procedure where we will take a little portion from your lesions and we will send you to the lab. And that portion will be examined under the microscope, under histopathical pathological examination. And after that, we will know the result whether it is, um, uh, it's a benign or it's a cancerous as you have assumed. And um, after, I think it will take few days to get the, uh, the results. And it can be done, the, the examination, what I told you is a biopsy, excisional biopsy, and it, is, it has a very minimal risk because we are doing under local anesthesia with a little amount of pain, so you need, need not worry about it. Is, is that understood? Yes, understood, uh, doctor. But uh, why why we not remove it at uh, once? Uh, yes, and I get rid of it completely. Yeah, yes, I understand. But the thing is that we cannot, uh, as you uh, said that. Even though we, I feel that it's uh, benign because of the uh, because of the clinical appearance and the. Um, all the history you have told me, but we have to make sure, and it can be sure only after from the um, only after sending it to the lab where we get the um, histopathological result, and that will be the only basis where it can be proven that it's not um, it's not cancerous and it's only benign. Is that understood? Yes, doctor. But uh, what will happen if my con uh, concerns turn it to be right and it is cancer? Yes, I understand. Um, Will I get Ahmed. sick? Ms. Uh, yes. Uh, Will Mr. I die Ahmed? from it, Malak, my father? Oh, okay, Mr. Ahmed, I understand your concern, and I'm, 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 I'm so sorry that you've been frightened or you are very fearful about it. But even if, you know, if the result come out saying that you have a cancerous lesions, then what we're gonna do next is we will refer you to a surgeon. And we, he will perform a wider excision of that lesion. And most probably you'll have to undergo uh, adjuvant therapy. That means either you have to take chemotherapy or that means medication or radiotherapy, which means the treatment from radiation. So, but uh, uh, since you are very much concerned, I would like to emphasize that so far from what we've seen and from what you've told us, 
it does not look like cancerous. So we do not, you do not need to be afraid of being immediately admitted to a hospital, or you do not, you need not be afraid of any big procedure of um, op, a big operation. So I assure you that you should, uh, uh, you can be relaxed until we get the uh, further, re, uh, until we get the result from the path, uh, pathology. So I want you to be relaxed and not to be worried about it. Is that, uh, is that all right, Mr. Ahmed? Yes, all right, Doctor. Uh, I will take uh, your words in. Uh, so, my, uh, sir, home and I will uh, try to relax. Yes, that that will be a very good thing to do, Mr. Ahmed. And as I've told you, I'll just tell you recent what we've done. I would just want you to understand that when we we will do a little biopsy, that means take a little portion, portion from your lesions and we'll send to the patho lab. And as soon as we get the result, we'll know whether it's a cancerous or whether it's benign. And if it turns out to be a, a cancerous, then we'll do further, we'll refer you to a surgeon and he'll do further uh, bigger um, excision or he will uh, get rid of the cancerous uh, portion. And you will be uh, all right because you'll have other um, therapy like chemotherapy or radiotherapy. So you need not be that much scared. So I can assure you that and if you need any more help and any, anything you want me to explain, I'm always here for you. Is that all right, Mr. Ahmed? Yes, all right, doctor. Thank you very much. Thank you. So okay. I was... Uh, so I was what I was trying to do is, is like I was trying to calm you down, keep on like and uh, my English. I, I was trying to show off my uh, not, uh, show off in a sense. I know how to convince you using different in English. Did you understand? Mm -hmm. I was just trying to show that. I was saying like, oh no no, it's okay. You can talk nicely. You you did not mm -hmm. be, but make sure you go. You say everything here and but because I remember you say, oh you are very apprehensive. Uh, mm -hmm. You are a bit. Uh, that is also a good word, apprehensive, mm. and mm. Um, I can I can understand you um, your worries. That is also mm. a good word, and remember we use this word. Sorry, uh, we were learn. It's not here. Why okay. it's like this? Okay, so shall we go to the next one? Yes. Okay. Do you have any more question to ask? Like anything you would like to. Uh, about this excisional biopsy, uh, excisional, I think we remove all, uh, this is scientific, and uh, remove yes. the, the whole lesion, but incisional biopsy, we remove one part from it. Oh, excisional biopsy, yes, yes, sorry, sorry, mm. because it's a small portion, so it yes. will be completely, yes, that's correct. Hopefully, they... Um, Oh, I, what I was thinking was it will take, they will take the biopsy and they'll say whether it's then and then you, they will do the excision. It's already done, right? Yes, sometimes if it's not clear in the scenario, we will, uh, is it a big lesion or small lesion? We will remove uh, the whole uh, lesion or part of it. So sometimes it, it, it is left to your imagination about the, the, the scenario. Oh, you, wow. mm. So uh, hopefully the the examiner will not like be nitty gritty about the detail as long as you can swing very like you know smoothly. Hmm. So let's move on to the next, shall we? Okay, let's go. Am I a bit fast or am I understood? Please let me know, Mister uh, Doctor Emma. Otherwise, I'll slow down or anything. Anything you want? No, it is okay. Okay. So, three minutes to read. Okay, this is card uh, number one, uh, March 14. Yes, 2014. So, you read the doctor, I'll read the patient. Okay.
Hello, Dr. Mustafa. We are practicing. <clears throat> Hello, Dr. Asha. Uh, just, uh, yeah. I was sleeping. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> good morning. Good morning, Dr. Mustafa. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, good morning, good night. <laughs> it's evening here. Dr. Emma and I were practicing. Oh. So uh, we'll practice the second one and then we'll move on to you. Is that okay? Okay, yeah, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Dr. Ahmed, are you ready? Okay. Yes, ready. Okay. okay. Most time, I will. Yes. Uh, good evening. I'm Dr. Ahmed Ali, the attending physician for the clinic today. May I have your name, please? Uh, I'm Asharana. Hello. How can I address you? Uh, you can call me Asha. Okay, hello, Asha. Uh, how can I help you today? Well, doctor, you know, uh, these days I have this bitter taste in my mouth. And every time I walk in the morning, I have this burning sensation at the back of my throat. And it's getting worse. And um, when, it, when, I do, when I go for a morning walk after breakfast, it really gets worse. And even the food sometimes gets regurgitated. I'm so worried, doctor. What is it? What's happening to me? Oh, I am really sorry to hear this. Uh, could I ask you some more uh, questions about this condition? Yes, please. Go ahead. Uh, okay. Do you have any difficulty uh, with swallowing? Well, um, not that exactly, but uh, what I feel that I cough when I speak. Okay. Uh, do you smoke or drink alcohol? Yes, I smoke uh, around five to 10 cigarettes a day. And uh, I don't drink um, that much, just um, two glasses of wine with dinner. And sometimes I drink several cups of coffee. That's all doctor, not that much. Okay, um, based on what you told me, uh, it is most likely uh, that you have uh, what is called gastroesophageal reflux disease. Have you heard about this before? Does that mean that, um, I'm not sure what is it, what is it doctor? Can you explain a little bit? Okay, uh, let me explain to you what is it. Uh, this is a condition where there is uh, uh, dysfunction of uh, the, the connection between uh, your uh, stomach and uh, the first part of food bite. Uh, so there, uh, this part should close after eating, mm -hmm. but in your case, due to smoking and drinking alcohol, and uh, I think you are also overweight, uh, mm -hmm. this compresses in your stomach and makes this sphincter between your stomach and first part of food bite uh, not able to uh, prevent food from going up. So you have this condition. So, so you Am mean I to say so that? Far? Yes, doctor. But you mean to say that the food get the, the it ref, get reflux? Oh my goodness! That means I heard that it means a sign of precancerous condition. Will it become a cancerous, doctor? What is it? No, don't worry. I appreciate your uh, concerns, but uh, it is early to say it is cancer. Uh, uh, let uh, us uh, start with uh, modifying your lifestyle and I will give you some medication and follow up this. Uh, to do lifestyle modification, you, you uh, should quit smoking and uh, drinking alcohol. Uh, I can help you by referring you to uh, our clinic and you can uh, join uh, a group uh, of people uh, having the same conditions so, so you together can uh, encourage each other to quit this uh, and uh, i encourage you to do uh, regular exercise and uh, to have your food before sleeping uh, at least three hours before sleeping and to have some beer uh, when you are sleeping is it clear to, uh, to you asha Dr. Ahmed, are you not taking my uh, case seriously? I'm asking how it can be treated, but you're telling me to get, uh, get thin 
get exercise and join the group and eat regulate my eating habits are you serious about my concern dr ahmed what are you saying i'm having this sore throat and i'm having this pain and i want the treatment how can it be treated i don't want this all this group lose weight eat proper food is that the way don't worry uh, i can reassure you that this is not cancerous lesion uh, and uh, based on my clinical experience uh, this is not cancerous at uh, at all and uh, what i told you is the uh, the treatment for this condition is it clear for you asha dr emmel i think you are not being serious and you are not taking my case seriously maybe i want to see a specialist maybe i think i need i think i heard that when you have this condition you have to put something in your mouth like i don't know what is it but maybe i need that doctor i you are not taking me serious you are just telling me to lose weight and i don't want that i want something serious i think that it's something precancerous and i'm afraid i want something serious Okay Asha don't don't worry at all you are in a good hand and we are experienced in this and uh, what i told you this is based on long uh, time uh, experience in dealing with such cases mm -hmm. uh, so let's start uh, w with what i told you and also i will give you uh, a medication and follow up uh, you after one week and so uh, see after this what is going on but at uh, this time uh, uh, i hope that you uh, listen to my words and uh, stick uh, to what i have told you and you will feel great after this i promise you so what should i take uh, i will give you some things that uh, decrease the secretion of acid in your stomach it is called ranitidine mm -hmm. so i don't need okay that for you Yes, so I don't need that something to in my mouth. And the uh, no, no. Uh, after after uh, assessment of the condition, uh, uh, after you have uh, treated with the antidine, we can deal with it if it is improved. So our diagnosis is confirmed, and if no improvement. Uh, we may need uh, an endoscopy but uh, this is not urgent and uh, you don't need it at this mm -hmm. time okay, i hope uh, i hope that i am clear yes dr ahmed thank you okay thank you if you han uh, have any other uh, queries i'm here to help you at any time okay thank you thank you uh is this uh, do who's uh who's marking this yellow doctor <laughs> yeah it's me <laughs> oh yeah yeah it's better uh, like because i think um, dr ahmed you need to mark uh, like go like that because i want hmm. you to follow you forgot again <laughs> I, i want you to say endoscopy because it's mentioned there because i was trying hmm. because i don't know what is endoscopy so you have to say oh you mean to say endoscopy i don't think so you need it because it's at this stage you don't need it and maybe after we do the ranitidine then it will be uh, we can think about that but so far no mm. need so you need to mm. go uh, like make sure you go line but, by line yes but, but but you were so angry <laughs> yeah yeah that that's the thing i have to be angry uh, um... don't, don't so you have to that's why i say Yes I understand why you uh, you, uh, you how you're feeling but I'd, I advise you this is the medicine this is the ranitidine it helps you to uh, become better it helps you with your reflux so no need to worry and it's, maybe I need that what you call inside oh it's called endoscopy so you, you because I'm giving you point to remember so no matter how angry i get you have to calm down you have to be very calm and listen and do not forget the line that's why i'm saying i'm becoming calm i'm becoming angry but you have to still focus on your line don't forget <laughs> just go through that <laughs> that's what yes but but but, but you uh, um, don't ask for endoscopy or make uh, questions about it so i i, I kept it at last uh, waiting for you to uh, ask about it or 
No, no, I was saying, you know, doctor, what do you, do I need that? What they, I've heard, because I don't know what is endoscopy. So, but I'm just saying, I heard that if it's precancerous, they insert something in your, inside the mouth. I don't know what is it. Then you have to say, yes, it's called endoscopy. But yes. we will give you the medicine. And I said, where, what's the treatment? You're just, you're not being serious. Where's the treatment? I'm saying, yes, I am serious. And I understand what you're concerned, but we are giving you this medicine called ranitidine. And when I'm, um, and also we need the lifestyle modification as I've mentioned it. So you should be able to handle me with your English. Okay. And, also, and also remember to mention everything here. So very, because you don't know how that patient will, how the examiner will behave. Sometimes he will not, maybe he will be like, give you line by line, or maybe sometimes up and down or like, you know, which part first. So you should be able to handle. I didn't say endoscopy, but I say, I don't know what they say if it's pre-cancer. Oh, you mean to say endoscopy? Like, you know, mm. like that. Because okay. they want to know if you can handle in English. Is it okay, Dr. Emma? Yes, okay. Okay, let's move on to... Uh, Dr. Mustafa, shall we three minutes? Yeah, no, it's the same. Yeah, okay. Is it the same? No, it's different. No, no, I will just use these lines. Okay. Oh, okay. You want to mark? It's okay if you want. But I think if they give, they may give you pencil or and a paper. I'm not sure. It's better you mark. Add the, like for example, if you finish the express, you just write tick in so that you don't go there again in your you know paper just mental check okay okay I mean, yeah so card number two march uh, 2014 yes yeah on the screen okay three minutes okay start And don't be afraid if I'm angry, okay? I have to be angry. <laughs> you are always angry. Yeah, I have to be angry. <laughs> because doctor is not... It sounds as real. <laughs> yeah, that's why I want to be like, you know. That's why Dr. Emma forgot. <laughs> because I'm so real. <laughs> She's, he forgot his line. Don't forget your line. Stick to your line. Yes. Are we ready, Dr. Mustafa? Yeah, okay. Okay, let's start. Okay. 
Okay, good evening. I'm Dr. Mustafa. I'm the treating physician um, for you today. Uh, can uh, may I know your name, please? I'm Asharana. Good evening, Dr. Uh, Dr. Mustafa. Yeah, good evening. Uh, how can I uh, address you? You can call me Asha. Okay, nice, Miss Asha. Uh, okay, how can I help you today, Ms. Asha? Well, uh, I was told to come here to see you because, you know, I have to go for a vacation and due to travel agents insurance policy, I have to do some check, uh, ch some checkup before I travel. So I'm here to see my results. Okay, Ms. Asha. Uh, as per my examination, I found that your uh, blood pressure, so by Zangri, uh, is high, very high. Uh, it looks like 190 over 110. It's very high. Uh, do you know what what means uh, hypotension? High blood pressure, hypertension. You mean to say? Are you kidding me, doctor? How can I have a high blood pressure? I don't yeah. think so. I, I, I'm very, I'm very active. I jog every day. I got a run every day. Like you know, and I'm not even over uh, overweight. Look, I'm very thin and slim. And I do not smoke and drink like, uh, yeah, I do smoke, but not that much, you know, moderately, not like others. I think you have a mistake, you, you might have mistaken, doctor. I think I do not have blood pressure. It, it's impossible. Yeah, I'm also surprised, Miss Asha. It's, uh, it's a very uh, urgent condition to have this high blood pressure. And uh, also, I, it's very serious. So that could affect your life, affect your heart, and it can give you stroke. Uh, do you mind if I ask you more questions about your lifestyle? Yes, yeah, sure. Go ahead. Okay, Mr. Ms. Asha. Can you uh, actually, uh, tell me more about your lifestyle? How do you, how do you live? Uh, what about your job? Is, is it a stressful job? What about your weight? What about your smoking habits, uh, alcohol like this? Uh, okay, I do smoke, but I don't smoke that much like others. You know, I'm not a chain smoker. I just smoke like one or two cigarettes a day. And drinking, yes, um, alcohol. I do drink wine like uh, two or three times a week, but not every day, doctor. So, and I'm on. Uh, I'm very strict about my diet. I don't eat uh, fatty food and other things. And also, um, but um, I do have lots of stress at work. Why are you like, like, why are you asking me all these questions? Like, you know, does it help my situation? Why are you asking me? Just, I, I, I think there might have been mistake. I mean, I can't have blood pressure. See, I, I'm very healthy. I, I'm not even yeah. fat. Yeah, I'm, I'm so sorry for that, Miss Asha. I, I just need to know more about your style and uh, about your uh, different factors affecting your blood pressure. To uh, so some factors of this are uh, preventable and can be treated uh, to uh, to prevent the uh, complications of this high blood pressure. Uh, is that clear for you, Miss Asha? Yes. So I will assure so you that your condition will, will will be better with medication. So some medication would be needed, and I will take other measures to avoid this high blood pressure. Also, I can do some tests for you to uh, to, to know the cause of this, and uh, so we can treat it early and uh, prevent the complications. Is that okay with you? Yes, but I don't want to take any medicine. I think I'm too young to take medicine. I thought only old people take medicines. I I don't want to take any medicine. Don't you have something like herbal medicine or other, you know, other remedies that I can follow? I don't want to take the high blood pressure medicine. Yeah, I, I understand. I, I understand your question, Miss Asha. Uh, I can also start with some medications that uh, that uh, bring your blood pressure down, and I will take other measures like uh, change your lifestyle and. Uh, Recommend, recommend some exercises for you to do, and I can do some further tests to uh, relieve the to uh, know the cause of this blood pressure. I, I can do some uh, some uh, uh, imaging for your heart. I can do some blood tests like uh, to so the cholesterol level. I can do an analysis. So maybe any kidney cause can be treated before I uh, go for medication for you, uh, or any endocrine cause that can affect you, uh, your blood pressure. Is that clear so far, Ms. Asha? Yes, and um, you mean to say I have to do other tests to know further about my condition? 
Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a, I recommend that for you, Miss Asha. Also, uh, this maybe stress from the work. I can't exclude that, but uh, I can give you also treatment on one reading. So I give you medication to bring your blood pressure down. Then I will do tests, other other tests, and I will review your blood pressure again to see if you have hypertension already, hypertensive already, or this uh, uh, an occasion. Is that okay with you? Yes, but but doctor, uh, but but doctor Mustafa, I really have to go to my vacation. You know, I have to travel, yeah. so you oh, have yeah, to make sure I, that I, I need to travel. Yeah, yeah. yeah Mister Asha, I, I I assure you, anyway, you will go your holiday. You will not forget your holiday. Oh, okay. You yeah, you just will take medication. I will take blood test for you, and I will recommend some uh, lifestyle changes for you and uh, some exercises like this. Then you can go the holiday and come back to review after that. Is that okay with you, Ms. Asha? Oh, that sounds promising. That's okay then. If you say that I can travel, then I can also yeah, I can think about it. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ms. Asha. If you have any uh, uh, quiz, don't hesitate to contact me again. And uh, nice to meet you. Uh, same here. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, uh, as we said, Miss Asha, you, you, uh, as we be examination, your blood pressure is very high. You need to do some, uh, take some medication to bring your blood pressure down. You, uh, we need to review your blood pressure again to explain is if, if this is uh, hypertension or not. And I can do some tests for you to review the cause of this uh, blood pressure. I will do heart imaging, uh, some blood tests, and some urine analysis. And after that, I can review your labs, and uh, some causes can be treated. To uh, to uh, and we will not uh, be uh, dependable on medications. And uh, also, I assure you, you will go your holiday. And uh, nice to meet you. Thank you, Miss Asha. Thank you, Doctor. That's good. that's good, Doctor Mustafa. And um, I think you need to like, even though I become very furious or angry. You can slow down because um, I need to understand your English very clearly. So I think that's... Uh, this is, uh, this is it's clear. Bit. <laughs> I think it's clear, but uh, if you go a little bit slow, it will be clearer. Like, you know, I'm very... You, you, you need to be like, I, yes, I understand because the last was very clear to me, but in the middle, something I, I couldn't follow. So I'm just telling you, uh, like whether I could follow or not, like in the middle, I yeah, could follow it's... you. Yeah, this is a stressful job for me, <laughs> and I'll make it more stressful because I'm like you know I I'm getting angry, but you should be able to handle me in even if I'm angry. So can I be the yeah, yeah. patient? I'll be the doctor. You become the patient. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Um. Good evening, I'm Dr. Asharana. I'm your attending physician. May I have your name and date of birth, please? Yeah, this is Mustafa. I am uh, uh, the first. This is uh, first of uh, December, uh, mm -hmm. 1986. Mm -hmm. So, how may I call you? Yeah, Mustafa. Okay, Mr. Mustafa. Uh, so, what brought you here? Yeah, doctor, I, you know, I I take vacation for two weeks. I will go uh, on a holiday, but my insurance agency uh, asked me to do uh, some clinical exam before I go. This is as a part of the insurance policy. Okay. Oh, yes, yes, I remember. You you are here to have your uh, general checkup, right? Um, so uh, what yeah. we see... What I've seen here is that you have a very high blood pressure, Mr. Mustafa. Do you know what you, do you mean by a hypertension or high blood pressure? Yeah, how is this? How is this, doctor? I'm, uh, I'm, I'm not smoking, I'm uh, not overweight, and I'm very active. How is this happening? I'm, um, I'm not sure. Do you show this, doctor, about this, doctor? Yes, uh, uh, I'm afraid that this is your result. And do you know that because of the high blood pressure, you have the high risk of having stroke and heart disease. And maybe I feel that I, I understand looking at you, you might be a very active person, but maybe your lifestyle have affected like, uh, do you, um, I need to ask you a few questions so that I can have clear picture of your condition. Is that okay? 
Yeah, could have too, but I'm, I'm, so, I'm, I'm not willing to have this high blood pressure. I'm very active. I don't smoke, and I drink only moderately, not daily. Sometimes okay, only. I, yes, that's what I want to know. So, uh, do you smoke? Yeah, only I'm, I don't smoke. Oh, okay. How about you drink? Do you drink? Yeah, only moderately. Well, once every uh, three days, like this, only mm -hmm. on the occasion on, on holidays, only okay. stuff like like this. So, how how about your diet? Do you take fatty foods or any, you know, um, those greasy food? Do you have the habit of having those diets? No, no, no. I uh, only just some in in rare occasions I do this. Okay. How about your stress? Uh, like, do you have any stress at home or at work? Maybe your work are stressful. Mr. Ahmed, uh, Mr. Mustafa. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm happy, stressful job. You know, I oh, work as okay. always every day, and um, it's not easy job. Okay, I understand. And um, how about uh, so what we can do since you have a high blood pressure, it's and it's very important that we need to bring it down. So what we can do, give, uh, do is that we need to give you um, medication so that it can be brought down. And we also can look into other factor, right? How to control your diet. And we have to advise you to do more exercise so that uh, the, the blood pressure can be brought down. Is that clear, Mr. Uh, Mr. Um, um, doctor, I will not take any medications. I, I'm, uh, I will not accept this. I need other measures to decrease my blood pressure. I will not take any medication. Yeah, yeah. If there is yes, any I... other remedy that exists, help me uh, uh, as a uh, as a message of treatment. Okay, I understand. So what we can do is like, um, since you are not convinced, and I think it's all right. And what we can do is we can do further tests to know, like you know, like ECG. That means we put something on your heart um, wire, and we'll measure the how's your heart condition. Then we'll also check cholesterol from your blood. And it will see that, it will show that you may have how much fat in your blood. And also urinalysis, that means we'll check your urine and see if there is a problem there. And we can understand further about your condition. And maybe you have a very treatable, treatable underlying condition or like um, such as you may have a kidney problem or some endocrine problem, you know. And or it can also be heart disease. So we were trying to see what can what may have made you like increase in increase in your blood pressure. So well, uh, we uh, as you say, I understand, and I also think that it may be stress related. And um, and yes, we cannot um, give you like you know take uh, we cannot force you to take medicine because you just have one reading, you know. So we'll do more reading like ECG, your heart and cholesterol and urinalysis, urinalysis. So is that okay with you? Yes, doctor, but uh, is this will affect my vacation? Oh, no, 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 that, that won't affect your um, vacation. We'll make sure that you can travel and enjoy your uh, holiday, but we still have to um, advise you to take more tests so that we can be sure that it's not something very serious like heart or kidney. Is that all right? Yeah, that's that's okay. Full affect my vacation. I am very happy for this. Okay, so uh, what we, as I told you, that you just have a high blood pressure, and I, we feel that I feel that you, ha it may be your work related, or it can be anything like your stress factor or al alcohol or anything you have consumed, and maybe um, as I told you that we may have to do further tests like ECG to check your heart cholesterol to check the fats in your body and urine urinalysis, to check your kidney and your endocrine as well. So we'll know further about your condition. And I hope that you can have, um, I think you can enjoy your holiday uh, stress-free and we'll further check it and let we, uh, we will let you know further after the uh, further test has been done. Is that okay, Mr. Uh, Mustafa? Is there anything, question, any yeah. more question you would like to ask me? Thank you, Doctor. Thank you. Okay, thank you. So, uh, was there any difference between what you say and when I said, Doctor Ahmad yeah. and Doctor Mustafa? Did you find any difference? Yeah, of course. <laughs> of course. No, I'm just. 
Dr. Ahmad, are you listening? Yes. Yes, yes I am listening. Uh, so what what was the different main difference? Uh, uh, that you go systematically and you don't uh, forget uh, the points. Mm. And uh, fluency. Yes, fluency. Fluency is that that's what they're trying to say. You can say anything. Like, I don't think so. They will, like, you know, they won't say, oh, you said something ECG instead of, they, they don't care that much as much as you are very fluent to go back and forth. You know, you have to show that you are very good at it. You can go f back and you can, like, you know, oh, I can assure you, you have to talk as it as a real patient. Oh, don't worry. It's okay. I understand. Like, you know, you're talking to your friend or you know, like your own language. So they want to see that. And also, uh, like, um, like for ECG, there is a point you can show your English. You see, we're going to do, uh, we can do ECG, which means that we're going to check your heart with a wire attached to your chest. So it will measure your heart condition. Or we can measure your fat by measuring cholesterol in your blood. Or we can measure your kidney condition by doing urinalysis. See, it's a very simple word, but you're explaining further. You are showing your English more with the ECG, your heart, um, even a simple person can understand. So you're trying to uh, tell the examiner that you can explain in English. That's what you're trying to show. Yeah, okay. yeah, so, okay. so I'm giving you, so I'm giving you points. Like for example, uh, I remember Dr. Mustafa is saying, oh, like, how about you smoking alcohol? Don't ask like that. Uh, do you smoke? Okay, do you uh, drink? You have to ask like that. Don't say, do you smoke that alcohol? That No, no. You have to ask like, you know, being a doctor, you cannot hurry and saying, um, how about smoking? Do you smoke? Okay. And how about your drinking habits? Uh, are you a drinker? Are you, do you drink a lot? Uh, you can like the smiling and like, oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. You shouldn't drink more. And how about your diet? Um, I'm sure you don't take fatty food, right? Like, you know, asking different way. I can't say, it's better you because it sounds very monotonous if I say do you drink do you smoke do you uh, how's your diet rather I say how about your drinking habit uh, how much uh, like do you drink uh, do, are you a so social social drinker social drinker is someone who drink occasionally are you a social drinker oh, no no doctor I drink at home once or a while um, how about you are you a chain smoker different way to say it and said, so, no, no, doctor, I only uh, smoke once or twice a day. Uh, how about you? Uh, do you, I'm sure you don't take fatty food uh, or you don't have a very high cholesterol diet, is it? Like in a different way of saying the same thing in English. That's what they want no. to say. It's the same thing, but you're yes. saying it differently. How about your working habits? Uh, is it very stressful at your work? Lots of work pressure? Like, you know. That is a stress factor. So you are giving different ways, checking different way how to tell the doctor. So these are very important things you can. And so another is ECG cholesterol. You can show off your English in these things. So you also can, uh, rather than do you smoke, do you drink? How about I'll do your ECG cholesterol? No, I think we have to do ECG. You know, what is ECG? It means we are connect a wire to your chest and we'll see your heart condition and monitor it. And we can check also your fat through your blood by taking uh, your blood and see how much fat you have in your body through the blood. And we will check your kidney to, through the urine. See? And you don't have to worry like that. Okay? Okay. Yeah, I think we need to move a little more to uh, increase our base language. Yeah, it's okay. It doesn't matter. Just catch whatever I say. Just note it down. Okay. Can you note it down now so you don't forget it? Or you can listen later. It's okay. But I'm sure I, I want you to be very, um, like, you know, you're showing off your English. You're very good at it. So I want you to, like, you know, same thing differently in a better way. Yeah, okay. Okay. It's nice. Okay. Let's move on to the next. Okay. Before this, uh, he said that uh, in a couple of two weeks. So the mm -hmm. vacation will start after two weeks. Mm -hmm. Is it clear? Where? where? Check uh, up the first, line. first line. Mm, express your concern and that the condition. I think it was a patient card. The patient card in the first oh, okay. uh, line. Before you go, you're going overseas for a couple of weeks 
uh, you're going overseas for a holiday in a couple of weeks. And as a part of the travel, you need to have a general checkup before you go. Yeah, yeah. So, the, so uh, all, all these uh, investigations will be done before the, the, the vacation. Mm, yeah, before he travels, because he has mm. to have. Otherwise, he cannot mm. travel. Yes, I'm asking to, to, to make yeah. the correct scenario. Yes, 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 that's correct. Because you have to, because he needs this before he travel. Mm. So that's why he came early, almost a couple of weeks. And he's worried mm. that he's like, uh, we are assuring that, yes, you can travel. Because in a couple of weeks, we can already do all these tests, right? ECG, cholesterol, all can be done mm. in, a, uh, in a week's time. So yes, of course, he can. Mm. And also, we can give him medicine to reduce the blood pressure also. So, yes, mm. it can be done. Mm. Yes. We can also say that uh, mm -hmm. going in a holiday is a, a great idea. It will make you relax and help to reduce your blood pressure. Yes, yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah, yeah, that's great. Yeah, that's good. As long as you can, like, express and, like, you know, you, you, you have to make sure that you're not memorizing and you're talking like you're talking to me right now. Like, you know, uh, very, without uh, breaking, without feeling nervous or without breaking, uh, uh, like, without thinking, like, you know what to say next. Oh, that's a good, you can add that. That will be good as well. I, I think it will add you point saying that. I think you can relax more there and you your stress will be down you'll be better if you go to vacation and the patient oh yes yes you you can have a normal talk as long as you say everything in that and you can say it in your own word it's okay okay so we have um one more dr okay. mustafa dr. Ahmed or mustafa which one mustafa to be equal uh, oh, yeah, everyone yeah. Do two. two cuts. <laughs> two. Anyway, okay. Doctor Two, Doctor Emma Two, Doctor Mustafa I'm, One. I'm <laughs> Give me a few minutes. I'll just drink water. Sorry. Are you ready, Doctor Mustafa? <laughs> okay, I will set the time. Yeah, we'll read first. What What's community health center? What's this? It's uh, like a community, you know, in um, what they call in UK, it's a surgery. Um, do you know what is surgery in UK? They don't no. call uh, the private clinics. They don't call like, sometimes they call community health center is not as a, like a, exactly like a, a private clinic. It's like a center where you can ask for advice uh, for about health. There are nurses, I think. And yeah, so is it, uh, they have everything, I think. It's more like a health center, health clinic, or how they say. Because in UK, do you know that in UK, they call surgery, the private clinic, they call surgery. Hmm. Yeah. Do you know that? So community health center, or not surgical center? No, no, no. I'm saying, I'm just giving you a community health center is of a community means uh, where they can, it can be a clinic, I think. Because every country, they say it differently. I don't know um, exactly. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's a health center where they refer you to the hospital. Before you go to the hospital, you can go to the community health center. Uh, so this is like primary uh, health care? Yeah, yeah, primary, primary health care, something like that. Yeah, okay. But sir, start. just, yeah, yeah.
Are you ready? Yeah, okay. 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 <clears throat> I will see the time. Uh, this is card number four, March 2014. Okay, five minutes. Start. Okay, good afternoon. I'm Dr. Mustafa. I'm the treating physician for you today. May I have your name, please? Good afternoon, Dr. Mustafa. I am Asha Rana. Yeah. Uh, how, to, how can I address you? Yeah. you? You can call me Asha. Okay. Uh, Ms. Asha, uh, how can I help you today? Well, doctor, you see, I have this ulcer in my tongue. Uh, it started last night. And um, I know it's not, I've, I've had this ever since I was a kid, uh, you know, it comes and goes, but it's, um, this clears up usually for a few days, but it's like, you know, I'm, I'm really finding it difficult uh, to speak and eat. Okay, I'm so so I'm so so if it's up, Miss Asha. I, uh, as be my examination, I find you have good uh, dental hygiene, and uh, I need to do, to know more about your condition. Do you mind if I ask you uh, more for your questions? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Okay, Miss Asha. Do you have any uh, blood disease uh, like uh, sugar diabetes? No, I do not have. Do you have any bowel uh, disease, bowel disease uh, like uh, bowel disturbance or bowel habits? No, nothing in that I know of. Do you have any recent viral infection or recent fever? No, I don't. Uh, I don't have that one, doctor. Okay, uh, that's uh, that's okay, Miss uh, Asha. Uh, as we, uh, uh, what I, uh, what I will, what I will need to see that maybe abscess ulcers. Do you know what the, what that means? No, I don't know what is abscess ulcer, doctor. Yeah, this is uh, some ulcers that occur in the tongue without known cause, with no known cause. But sometimes it may be related to some uh, immune action in your body, maybe related to stress, maybe related to uh, some uh, change of your hormones. Maybe related to some allergy or viral infection. Is that okay with you? Well, uh, I understand the disease, uh, what the viral and the ultra. But uh, the uh, doctor, the thing is that I have something. I have to I have a, a something important meeting tomorrow, and I've got only um, twenty four hours to clear this ulcer. I really need to speak. Can you help me? What should I do with this? Yeah, first, Miss Asha, I will recommend a blood test for you to know the cause of this uh, ulcers that disturb you. Uh, also, I can, I can recommend a treatment plan for you for management of these ulcers. Like, uh, you can rinse with warm water, with salty water. I can give you some anti-inflammatory, like paracetamol. Uh, I, you must have plenty of fluids, uh, like any warm fluids. You should avoid spicy foods and uh, soft foods. I can give you mitigated, mitigated mouthwash to help you uh, relieve, relieve this pain and uh, enhance that, the, the healing of these ulcers. Is that clear uh, so far? Yes, but the, like, you know, the antiseptic and all that, they, they have never been useful. I mean, I've used that before, but they never helped. So I want something very, you know, effective that really works. You don't understand, doctor. I'm working as a, you know, salesperson. I have lots of stress and I have to, uh, like, you know, talk to my clients and I have to talk a lot. So that's why tomorrow it's a very important day for me. It's a very important meeting. So I need, I need something very effective medicine, not like just warm water or salty water or antiseptic gel. Can you give me something or how it can be gone? You need to help me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you, I, I appreciate your concern, Ms. Asha. I can assure you this ulcers will go by itself in a few days. It has, it will have, it will uh, take uh, the course of uh, of these ulcers and will go back, and will come, uh, will, will be relieved. Uh, this will be resolved by itself in few days. Uh, but I uh, can prescribe some anti-inflammatory to decrease the pain if the pain persists. Uh, if you have any other uh, issues to ask about, I can uh, help you. Uh, also, I will do some tests to resolve the cause of uh, to uh, clarify the cause of, uh, the cause of these ulcers. So, Is so how do I how, how did I get this ulcer, and how can I like you know it keeps on com coming and it's really annoying and irritating, affecting my work. So you need to help me. How did I get this ulcer, and how can I stop it from coming, recurring again? 
Yeah, as what I need to say, Miss Asha, as we said before, we need to uh, have healthy lifestyle. You can you can avoid spicy foods. You can avoid soft foods. You can uh, use some antiseptic gels if this also is okay. You have uh, to take plenty of fluids to decrease to increase your immunity. And also, I can do some blood tests to uh, to see the cause of also maybe some uh, immune reaction, maybe some uh, allergy or to response to an infection, uh, maybe stress related to uh, change of your hormones or related to your work. I, we will know the cause and treat accordingly. But now the, the ulcers will resolve by itself, and uh, I can give you some antiseptic gel and some anti-inflammatory meds if you have uh, been resisting after that. Is that clear so far? Yes, doctor. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ms. Asha. If you have uh, uh, any don't hesitate to contact me. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Is it five minutes? Uh, yeah. More than five minutes, but less okay. than six minutes. Okay, we need to have that alarm because we don't know when, like... You don't hear it sound? No, that's why I don't know we are, like, you know... Me also, okay. I didn't hear it sound. We need to have a loud, uh, that one. Uh, I thought you hear it. Okay, next time so, I will... Uh... Yeah, you cannot use very simple English, Dr. Mustafa, like, the pain will go, or like that. You have to, it will be resolved. And uh, I understand, not appreciate, you have to understand. Appreciate means um, if I say thank you or something, okay? You, you, I have always, um, uh, like, and Dr. Ahmad says apprehensive. Mm. And mm, mm. I understand you're apprehensive, that's okay. But sometimes, you know, when we write, it sounds very good. When But when we speak, because we understand the... Uh, uh, it's better you can use, um, uh, understand you are quite afraid. That is also okay. Because, uh, for example, if you, if you use that word apprehension, you have to use the same level of English in all. It sounds like a, a plain and it goes very high. So I just want a gentle one, right? You know, not, it looks like you memorize. So I don't want it to be memorized. I want it to look like it's very normal for you to speak. We can like also can say concerns or... Yeah, we, we need to learn new words because I understand you, uh, when you get confused or you get nervous, you use simple words like it will come, it will go. Try to, not to use those words. Like it will be resolved. Uh, it will continue. It will consist. Uh, like it consists of. It contains. And another one is um, what I was saying, Doctor to Doctor Mustafa. What was I saying a while ago? Uh, also, uh, when he was, yeah. was giving yeah. advice, uh, better to say you should, you should. Uh, Mustafa mm -hmm. said you can uh, take you. Mm -hmm. Or you can say it is advisable. Uh, please note down the words also because you have to say, well, it's advisable sometimes uh, instead of saying you have to run, you have to take, um, you know, lead, uh, lead healthy lifestyle. You can say it is advisable that you can, it is advisable means you are not forcing the patient. You are just giving advice, right? Like it's advisable that you have to maintain a certain healthy lifestyle rather than saying, uh, you should lead a healthy lifestyle. You should eat like that. So please use that word. It is advisable. Okay. But, but uh, how can I handle when, when you insisted on giving you something? Uh, uh, now? Effective? Medicine, effective uh, within 24 yeah. hours. How can I handle this? Uh, you have to... Uh, you you have to handle Would it. Would I tell same... her to postpone the meeting or have the meeting in another time? Well, um, it is advisable. Always use it's very safe mm. word as I said. <laughs> it mm. is advisable that um, I, as much as I want to help you, I think you can take this antiseptic and we will see how um, it it is effective. It's a, it, no, it's not effective. It's a take. But I advise you that it may have, it may be effective for 24 hours and you'll see. And if it's not resolved, then I think you have to postpone. So yeah, it's okay. Why not? They don't uh, understand. Uh, I didn't hear the last uh, sentence. I mean to if say not, like, if, for not, if not effective, if, what? 
Hmm. If not effective, then it's okay. Uh, I think you have to postpone your meeting. So it's okay. You are just giving hmm. your, as a doctor, what will you say? You can't, uh, you know, your health is more important, you have to say. Hmm. So uh, they just, uh, rather than reading and, uh, because what I'm doing is first, I want you to be very clear. What you have to go through the line by line. But I don't want you to be like, you know, just reading and yes, no. I want you to say now different words go like, you know, yes, why not? But you have to be concerned about your health because you don't know what the, the examiner will ask, how the examiner will respond. He may, he, he or she may ask, <coughs> excuse me, very simple, but sometimes he or she may ask you like, you know, no, no, like, you know, different. And you have to uh, respond accordingly. Yes, you cannot yeah, say yes. If I told her to, to postpone the meeting, she may have... Uh, yeah, it's okay. If, uh, if, if you can answer it, uh, like, you know, if you are not, if you're not going to be confused in the middle or you can, you are very confident to, like, you know, then sure, it's better. But it's make okay. sure you include in that. It, it's like talking to me. If you keep on talking to me, you know what to say, like, you know, you don't have to say, oh, mm, like that. And you don't have to, um, how about, uh, like, for example, discuss the management of the symptoms. So you can say, uh, you have to rinse with water, salty water, rather than, well, what we can say is that you can uh, use uh, warm water to rinse your, you know, throat. And how about, how about using salty water? Or sometimes there, you can also find um, mouthwash, you know, which is medicated, and it will help you to kill the bacteria as well. And um, if not, then you can also apply antiseptic gel. So I've noticed Dr. Mustafa, don't read all like, you know, take paracetamol, like use different words. Like um, if, if it doesn't work, the antiseptic gel, then you can also take paracetamol, add something in between. Add something that you are saying something like, you know, you're talking. And I also have to remind you, you have to take lots of fluids, water, you know, and I know I'm sure you are very fond of spicy food, but uh, but right now and when you have this ulcer, I should advise you not to take too much spicy food or any sour food. Um, I know I'm sure you like it, but I'm afraid you can't have it. Is that okay? Like that. Mm, okay. okay. So you twist and turn and practice like you are talking to me. How you are talking to me like that. Okay. It's easy. Okay, this much okay. for today? Or you want? No, uh, enough. <laughs> thank enough, you. right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Enough, thank oh, you. <laughs> okay. Uh, we can stop recording? Yeah, I think so. Uh, we